covers on these uh, on these books that were always out there, and, and there were there was a vast bank of them. There were probably more Doc Savage books out there than there were Tarzan books, but both of those were represented in the pulp fiction area. I'm just, uh, this is also Julie. Uh, I guess they were needed. I mean, if you think about it, this all grew up out of the Depression years, out of the time. The Tarzan was 1912 when, when it was uh, uh, first published. But a lot of the others came along after the fact. In the 30s, it was it was really rich with uh, pulp fiction, pulp heroes, and uh, it seemed like for a period of time that there was a new one every week. Uh, uh, the Green Hornet, the Atlantic, uh, uh, Captain Marvel, all these that were were uh, uh, sort of crossover characters between the the dime novels and the comic books. I was a comic book guy. And before I forget it, the guy in the first scene there was Woody Strode. I don't know how many yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we're at WonderCon. We just got done seeing Ron Ely. Uh huh. And I had a chance to meet Jim. I've emailed him and known him so long that I had a chance to meet him. And uh, we're going to go down to 279, book 279, to get Ron to take some pictures with him. And actually, I brought some stuff I wanted to sign. So hopefully, we get him to sign some stuff too. Okay. There you go.